How much do you guys make per hour? 25 bucks? More? Less? Let's talk about it. My name is Pedro Duda Santiago, back at you with the Ride Share Guy. Now, we're gonna be reacting to a video that I saw, but then the Reddit post that came after it. So, the CEO of, to of uh, DoorDash, Tony, shout out to Tony, says that dashers make on average $25 an hour. And in some Reddit groups and some blogs and Facebook and YouTube, that was, that got a little bit of heat because many dashers don't make that. Some dashers do. We're going to talk about, we're going to read some of these Reddit clips. I want to get your guys' perspective. And one of the key words he used was the word close. See right here. Close to $25 an hour. Is that a play on words? Let's get into it. And if you guys are new here, just a reminder, we drop DoorDash-related content on this channel every Sunday, brought to you by myself. Now, close to 25 bucks an hour, okay? Now, I'm going to share with you what I make. If I just do DoorDash, I could I could do that. I could make that in St. Louis. But I multi-app, so I make a little bit more, right, on average. But also, is it active time or is it total time? So let's say, I'll give you a quick example. You go out for lunch, you go from 11 to 3, you're going to do four hours. And you make 100 bucks in those four hours that you were out. If you made that in four hours, yeah, it's 100 bucks, but that's dash time. Active time is just when you actually accept an order and then when you drop it off. So you might be above that, right? So I'm thinking he's talking about active time because that's the only time that the app knows that you're, that they're paying you something to do. They're, you're active, right? So I get that part. So it's a skewed number though. So I think some drivers look at that like, I can make 25 bucks an hour? Oh my God. That's twice as much as McDonald's was paying me or this place or that place or whatever, right? So people go out and say, well, I'll work eight hours. I'll work an eight hour shift and I'll make 200 bucks. And that's not the reality. Most drivers aren't gonna be able to just turn the app on, work eight hours and make 200 bucks. It's gonna take you some time or you're gonna to have to fold in another app. Or it might take you 10 to 12 hours of actual time, but you might only be active for eight. So anyways, what do you guys make per hour? Put it down below. Do you count active or do you count dash time? Also, let's, I'm gonna read, we're gonna to look together at some of these uh, Reddit comments. Some of them are very funny. So first one here, I wanna go over. It says, this is from No Breath 9395 it says, this is really a part-time kind of offering. It, it is. He's talking about most dashes do this part-time. He's referencing something that Tony said. Um, and yes, you know, this comment also says he's talking about active time. Yes, the gig economy works, but as a supplemental income. And I believe that. I believe it could be a short-term solution to a, go uh, a situation that you're in, whether you lose your job or you want to try something different or you're just... I think doing gig work part-time is actually really, really, really smart um, in some markets. And if you're working towards a goal, working towards something, whatever that is for you. I think doing it full time and having it be 100% of your income can last for a, a small amount of time, I think. It's not going to be sustainable, though, in my opinion. Now, look at his next comment. Um, currently, Table Masher 420 says, currently at 39.02 an hour if I go off active time. 22.29 if I go off dash time, which is something we I just referenced earlier. Two hours active, 3.5 dash time, fuel not factored in. So I think I'll, this is definitely Tony's talking about active time, not the actual total time that you would be out that you might give the apps for that whole day for you, right? Um, this one here, Dalex89 says 16 an hour active here, $8 an hour dash time. Uh, uh, that's that's rough, but each market's different. Maybe, but that's tough. If, In my opinion, if you're making eight dollars an hour of dash time you might need to find another app and figure out what else to do that's just my opinion okay um sawyer whoop ass says customers seeing this stuff will likely lead to even smaller tips for us some consumers think we some of us make good money and some of us don't i think a lot of drivers especially doordash drivers aren't making what they could be based on other factors okay but if the consumers are thinking they're paying us a lot and this we're doing great and they see certain videos, they might not think we need to, they might not feel the need to leave a tip because they think, well, these guys are being, making great money, do it, I should paying them great. That McDonald's is only a couple miles from me. How hard could it be to pick it up and drop it off? So I think some consumers don't need tips for that reason, right? Um, so, Thousand Thousander says, no, he's a liar. I did three deliveries and made $30 yesterday, all day. All caps, wow. 
After 62.5 cents a mile round trip, I would be lucky to, to have made $5 profit. That Listen, if you're making that amount of money, it's time to find another job, another gig, okay? This one, Jack Lo Jack Low 4. This is a comment of the Reddit that I saw. He did say close to $25. He didn't say how close it was. That right there is hilarious because that's how a lot of these CEOs, politicians, they use certain verbiage. And at the end of the day, if he's questioned on it, oh, I said close to 25. That's the average. Or they could skew the numbers and say things in a way that makes it seem like it's not that it's not. Makes it seem like it's not, right? Like, so I thought that comment was I thought that comment was hilarious. Close to 25. Well, how close? Is it really close? Is it not that close? It's funny, isn't it? Um, this one says, well, according to this subs. To this sub, tons of people are making $30 an hour. Don't know if it's BS or everyone lives in California or people just don't want to be honest. The reply next to that says, not necessarily Cali, just the market. I'll say Chicago, I do just fine. So it's gonna be, there are drivers that are making 25 bucks an hour or more. I'm one of those. So when I see that, I'm not surprised, but I understand somebody making significantly less than that, which could be just $20, 15 13 could be like, hold on. He's saying we're making 25, that's not my perspective. That's not my story. I'm not making that amount of money. I love to make 25, right? Some are, some aren't. What percentage of drivers do you think are making that? And do you think most drivers are actually making much less than $25 an hour? Let us know in the comment section. And let's read this lengthy comment here from Tank Daddy Do. Tank Daddy Do. All you need to know is statistic after statistic after statistics come out and show that we don't make anything close to 25 an hour that's not everybody's per, per, you know that's not everybody's experience but i get it this guy walks on the designer eyewear a tailored suit and shirt and he still spews the same bs that everybody knows isn't true and cnbs endorses it by putting this man on and not challenging him interesting it's a lie it's been a lie proven a hundred times over the problem isn't that he's telling a lie. The problem is that he's been able to tell it 99 times more and do it in a very public forum. It's called gaslighting. It's psychological abuse. It doesn't matter if it happens in an in interpersonal relationship or from a CEO as part of a corporate policy. Wow, strong comments there. I can't necessarily disagree with everything, but we have to also understand we as gig drivers, have to know our worth. And if we're drivers are out here taking two, three, four dollar orders and that's kind of normal for us, or if we're taking orders that might have good monetary cash flow, let's say they're eight or nine bucks. If we are driving 20 miles to make that eight bucks, yeah, you're not making money. Cause it's gonna take you 30, 45 minutes to complete that. And you do one more four dollar order, boom. You just made $12 an hour. And you haven't even, you know, haven't even figured in your gas costs, your taxes, your car depreciation. The gig company will take advantage of you if you allow them to. Try not to be one of those people. And you can come to my channel, Pedro Dordas Santiago, on YouTube to get some more information about stuff like that, because that's what we talk about over there. And if you're looking for more content for Rideshare, uh, Lyft, Doordash, Uber, all kinds of videos about the gig economy as a whole, this is the channel you want to be at, the Rideshare guy. So if you want more content, Continue to watch this next video coming up here. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next one.